In the past, whenever an artifact or ancient ruin was to rear its unexplainable head, funded parties would scramble to quickly rebury them within museum archives or to simply ignore and not publicly share such discoveries. As such, many of the sites that we cover here upon our channel are not only notoriously difficult to track down and study, but are also very often unfamiliar to our many viewers. One continues their way through the same journey as you and I, by perusing the many subjects we have already covered. The feelings of confusion as having never been confronted with said locations and data therein actually becomes a sense of predictability and a symptom of a much larger conspiracy. As we push on with more and more sites and artifacts, further compounding the proof of this cover-up and deepening our evidential arsenal regarding this ignored and in some cases suppressed history upon our planet, it is inevitable that sooner or later the movement will indeed begin to move. And this is our mission. The Inga Stone, located in the middle of the Inga River in Paraiba State, northeast of Brazil, an artifact like any other which has an unexplained and possibly controversial history is little known to the world. It is a rock formation which covers an area of approximately 250 meters squared. However, upon this enormous rock is an unknown language with quite possibly an untold story. 46 meters long and 3.8 meters high, there are etchings made all over this stone whose meanings, although extensively studied by some of the best minds on the planet, remain unknown and undeciphered. Several figures are carved in low relief, illustrations of animals, fruits, and human constellations like Orion and our very own Milky Way can be seen. Scholars presume that it was created by natives that lived in the area until the 18th century, although any compelling evidence to support this claim has yet to surface. Thought to depict animals, fruits, weapons, humans, possible ancient aircrafts or birds, and what appears to be a table of contents, with stories divided into sections with each symbol connected to the number of a chapter, what it says is not known. Ignatius Rolum, professor of Greek and Latin theology, argued the symbols were similar to ancient Phoenician carvings, while others felt the symbols were related to ancient ruins. An additional popular hypothesis is, of course, ancient aliens, since the Inga's symbols were so different to any others found. Some researchers, such as Claudio Quintans of the Parabeno Center of Ufology, has postulated that a spaceship landed in the Inga area during this ancient time, and the symbols were probably drawn by these extraterrestrial guests. An incredible stone, with a history we may one day unravel. Has ancient alien technology finally been discovered within Russia? According to several talented UFO enthusiasts, along with a number of scientists, that is exactly what has happened. 
A team from Princeton University in America and the University of Florence in Italy have discovered a quote, quasi-crystal, so named because of its unorthodox arrangement of atoms, found within a meteorite from a remote region of northeastern Russia. This crystal, long thought impossible to be formed naturally due to being too energetically unstable and atomically manipulated. When the team discovered that the meteorite contained this mysterious, ancient, intelligently designed material, they merely moved the goalposts, simply stating that it can indeed be formed naturally. Technically, scientists describe quasi-crystals as quasi-periodic, being manually ordered, no longer found on the periodic table. Although they exhibit a pattern that fills all available mass continuously, they lack what scientists and mathematicians term translational symmetry. Simply put, they are not naturally occurring materials. The meteorite in which it was found is believed to be around 4.5 billion years old. Yet alas, when it picked up this perplexing and possibly alien passenger may remain unknown. UFO enthusiasts and scientists alike have previously hypothesized that evidence for alien life would, in all possibility, be found in a form such as this. Pointing out that quasi-crystals, being a novel form of matter, should actually be seen as artifacts of alien artificially created technology. No one has ever been able to explain how quasi-crystals can be formed by natural processes, and no one is ever likely to. It just does not happen. They're forbidden symmetry, making them impossible to be formed naturally. The only other known quasi-crystals, besides those found in the Chukotka meteorites, were only recently synthesized within laboratory conditions by scientists. Being very hard, with low friction characteristics, also a low heat conduction, quasi-crystals are a very useful product, used in a wide range of high-speed technologies, such as the coatings of airplanes and stealth fighters. Two-time Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling the idol of the American Chemical Society and one of the most famous scientists in the world, argued till his last days against quasi-periosity in Crystal's mere existence. He didn't even believe we would ever manage to create it. Does this sound like a naturally occurring material to you? How did this complex material end up on and within an ancient meteorite? Did this lump of space debris once collide with an alien craft? somewhere out there in deep space? It seems, regardless of what certain scientific bodies would have you presume, that is indeed the most likely scenario.